Boy, what extremes the Democrats will go through just to prove themselves correct. Even when they're wrong, they're, they're, they're wrong. They're as wrong as a $4 bill, but they want to be right because they have an agenda. Not realizing that they're still stabbing themselves in the back, creating more and more and more questions. Now, it's alleged that after the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade, right after that happened and all the protesting began, just so happened a 10 year old girl was violated to the point where she had to cross state lines to get an abortion. That's their argument. They're sticking to it. Now, I posted a video on TikTok from Fox News, and you can go to Fox News and check it out. I think it's Fox Business. And they questioned about this 10-year-old girl that was allegedly violated. They had no suspect. There was no um, rape kit test. No one answered any questions. No one had no knowledge. And even when this doctor, alleged doctor, was the one that called herself reporting it, when they tried to contact her for questions to verify this, she became ghost. Couldn't find her. No return calls or nothing. So then when the media starts saying, that, okay, this is, this is not real. This could be fake because they have an agenda. And even the attorney general of that state was like, we didn't hear nothing about it. There's no police report. There's no, no rape kits or anything like that. So we think it might be false. So the next day, the very next day, Fox News report that this person in back of me was the rapist. Now, in my, home, my own humble opinion, he's no more than a fall guy. He's an illegal alien, an illegal immigrant that allegedly violated this 10-year-old girl now, the question is, how did he get a hold of a 10-year-old girl to the point where her parents had to cross state lines for an abortion? No police report, no rape kit, no nothing. Just, she's pregnant, let's cross state lines, and now we're going to attack the Supreme Court for overturning Roe versus Wade. So now they had this dude. They had a hearing of this alleged rapist that's an illegal immigrant, can't speak English. What are the chances? But I'm going to let you watch this and then you come to your own conclusions. <laughs> All right, the charge is rape, felony of the first degree. La acusación es violación, un delito grave del primer grado. Under 13 years old. La víctima tiene menos de 13 años. Have you had adequate time to review the motion to hold the defendant without bail or bond? Ha tenido la oportunidad para repasar. El primero de parte del Estado para detener el acusado sin que haya fianza. Yes, Your Honor. Oh. Sí, su señoría. All right, Mr. Meyer, if you'd like to proceed. Señor Fiscal, señor Myers, puede seguir. Yes, thank you, Your Honor. The state is asking the court to hold Mr. Fuentes without bail or bond in this case. Sí, su señoría, el Estado está la madre de la víctima. And what did she indicate? ¿Qué indicó ella? 
She indicated that her 10-year-old daughter was pregnant. Indicó que su hija de 10 años estaba embarazada. Um, at the time, was the daughter still pregnant? Y en el momento seguía embarazada la hija? Yes. Sí. Is that daughter still pregnant today? Y sigue embarazada la hija no. hoy? No. Why not? ¿Por qué no? The victim went to uh, went out of state to have a medical uh, medically terminated uh, abortion. And la víctima fue llevado afuera del estado para una abortión uh, para terminar su embarazo médicamente. Do you know um, approximately when she had that abortion? ¿Y sabe cuándo ocurrió la abortión? The, the consulta consultation was initiated on June 29. La consultación se inició el 29 de junio. I believe the procedure was initiated on the 30th. Creo que el, el, el procedimiento se, in, se comenzó el 30 de junio. And the products of conception were picked up on the 2nd of July. Y los um, desechos de, de la abortión se recogieron el 2 de julio de este año. Now, when you refer to the products of conception, do you, is that the aborted fetus? Cuando usted hace referencia a los productos de concepción, usted hace referencia al, al feto abortado, sí. Is that uh, product of conception, is that currently available for DNA testing? Esos productos de concepción están disponibles para hacer uh, pruebas de AMD? Yes, the products of conception were entered into evidence in the Columbus Place property mm -hmm. on the second level. Sí, esos productos de concepción se... se confiscaron y son uh, pruebas de evidencias de policía de Columbus. And in what city and state did this abortion take place? ¿Y en cuál ciudad, en cuál estado ocurrió la abortión? Indianapolis, Indiana. In Indianapolis, Indiana. Now, how did you proceed with your investigation of the rape from there? Y de, de entonces, ¿cómo procedió con su investigación de, de la acusación de violación? And I should clarify, you or other detectives with CPD. Y quiero aclarar, usted o otros detectives de la CPD, Departamento de Policía de Columbus. On July 6th, uh, Detective Lisa McKissick, uh, Sergeant Timothy Grimm, and Detective Scott Blake made contact with the family at the residence. No sé si Where were the parents when this little girl was being violated? Where were the parents when this took place? And why weren't the police called? And I have another question. Where did he, they get his DNA samples from? Did they get it from the little girl? Or did they take his DNA samples? Those kits, I'm sure, could be manipulated, okay? Because this dude really can't defend himself because he don't speak English. And let's just say he did this. This is still the Biden administration, the Democrats' fault because the borders are wide open. And with open borders, what do you expect is going to happen? You're going to have people crossing that border that's going to be like, hey, I can do anything I want to do. There's no paper trail on me. I'm just free to roam and do anything I want to do. And America, the Democrats, are going to protect me. And they want us to be unarmed. I find this to be quite interesting. This dude is the fall guy. He's the fall guy. They needed something to back up their claim. So they figure we have a host of illegal immigrants that can't speak English. So it's very easy to pin this on them. Think of the number of times men were accused of violating women and then later find out that he did no such thing. Think of the number of men that's raising other people's kids because he was made to believe that that child was his. So there's a lot of holes in this story, even the dates that they gave. 
So feedback, tell me what you think. Check out the, the links on the bottom and buy some merch, buy some of my merchandise, go check it out, or just leave a donation right there on the bottom. You see like the little scrolling going across the screen? Yeah, go check out that site and leave a donation. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.